Hello, today I will be talking about movie review number 1003. This is Dragon Keeper. Dragon Keeper is a 2024 film that is directed or tour directed by Salvador Samo Busam and Lee Jinping. Salvador Samo Busam, S A L V A D O R S I M O B U S O M and Lee Jinping, L I J I A N P I N G. I saw this movie on May 10th, 2024 at Audrey Cinema in East Bay, Ohio. This is from China Film and China Film Administration Productions and Fever Kids Films. So, the fate of ancient China, as this movie takes place in China, rests on the shoulders of young, young, one young girl, who must find the last remaining dragon egg and fulfill her destiny. Dragon Keeper takes place in Han Imperial China, where it follows the adventures of Ping, who is an enslaved girl, along with ancient dragon Wan Denzi. Dragons have been banished from the kingdom for quite some time, and Ping is an orphan who finds one of the last remaining dragon eggs. Harold's claws force Ping to run away in order to return their dragon egg to the ocean and save all dragons from extinction. Oh. So, Ping finds a, a last, one of the last remaining dragon eggs. And she is befriended by ancient dragon Ron Dancy. Well, the two of them decide to bring the dragon egg back to the ocean before it's too late, because Paris guards are wanting to are wanting to make all dragons extinct, and and they can do this if the last remaining dragon egg does not get back to the ocean in time. It's definitely a pretty good movie, and it's animated, like it's a kids movie. Um, I think it's PG rated, as it does have a little bit of action in it. Maybe like some, I'm gonna say a ten scenes, but scenes that definitely modify the PG rating. And so I write Keller in the movie, which is also which the movie is based on an annotation, no, of a novel, by Whittinson, Carol Whittinson. Cool. So, the movie is about Peen, who is just an orphan, but is also enslaved. And she's trying to figure out how to be unslaved from this powerful bad guy. I won't detail what happens, but you, you can see why this person is a bad guy once you see the movie. And so, Peen stumbles across a dragon egg and the bad guys like the rulers of China want to take this egg and make all dragons instinct. But Pin believes that with the help of Wang Dancy they can return this dragon egg to the ocean before it is too late. So basically the fate of China rests in the hands of a dragon and a young girl as they try to outsmart and outrun the guards and the other bad guys that you will see in the movie and bring the dragon egg back to the ocean before it is too late. Like I said, this was definitely a pretty good movie that had definitely a little bit of action in it and sus I wouldn't say suspense. But there was a venture in it, and it's also animated. And so, I like how the movie is called Dragon Keeper, because Ping will eventually become a Dragon Keeper. And she eventually realizes throughout the movie that this is where she was destined to be, the Dragon Keeper, as she's 
find this egg, and she doesn't want to keep it for herself. She wants to take the egg back to where it belongs. But at the same token, she's trying to keep the egg safe from the bad people. That's why the movie is called Dragon Keeper. Because she is using this egg to help dragons be still alive. Because not all dragons are bad. Like Ron Dancy, he is a good dragon. And he helps Pink on this quest. And yeah, it was a pretty good movie. I thought it was pretty good. I definitely recommend it. And if you guys like seeing Epic Tales, Rally Road Racers, and The Amazing Maurice, which is also from Fever Kids films, I think you'll like this one as well. So that's my movie review of Dragon Keeper. Please enjoy my next movie review. Alright, goodbye.